Now in this tutorial, uh, we will discuss the ADC0808 or other ADC080809 uh, IC and will interface a whole bunch of sensors, a temperature sensor, sensor a trim pot, a light a dependent resistor and an NQ sensor. So before we go ahead and interface all of this, let's go ahead and look at uh, what is inside this IC and how we could use it. Now, this could be helpful in you know a lot of your projects where you want to read uh, senses. But before I say that, this uh, this IC it is not uh, as powerful as you expect it to be. So the the resolution of it, or you know, uh, it is just a 8-bit uh, resolution so you will have only 255 levels of the reference and uh, it is not quite powerful so uh, but the important point here is it is uh, very simple to use so uh, what this IC has is so, it has uh, eight analog inputs so out of these eight only one can be selected at a time but we could cycle through all of these eight and we can you know connect multiple analog inputs so we have these eight inputs Okay, so these are labeled IN0 to IN7, so these are 8 inputs. Now, um, at, as I said, at one point in time only one of these is selected and to do that we have three selection lines. So to the power 3 is 8, so we could select any of the channel we wish so these are labeled a b and c now you know before you go ahead and select the channel uh, i mean if we put the channel number on the on these three pins like say for example this is zero zero and one which refers to channel one uh, which is here and uh, before we go ahead and uh, ask the ic to select channel 1 uh, we need to send a high to low pulse on a pin called address latch enable so we have one more pin here which is called the address latch enable now arrow marks uh, show that this is input to this particular ic so and once we have done this and if you want to you know ask the converter to start the conversion of you know selecting any of the channel and then reading its input we need to send a pulse on one more pin so this is called the start conversion pin All right so uh, and once the conversion is complete the ADC it uh, it it you know, it sends uh, so for all this so a le we need to send a low to high pulse even for this we need to send a low to high pulse but when the conversion is complete it sends a high to low pulse on a pin called EOC end of conversion and in the way that we latch the addresses in the selection lines with the ALE similarly uh, when we uh, want to read the outputs we need to you know send a pulse on a pin called output enable okay so before you go ahead and read the data and now to read the data we have eight data lines because this is 8 bit parallel ADC and 
it works on something called a successive approximation uh, or a ladder network so if you heard that you know what i mean by it so these are eight outputs ad 0 to ad 7 now by the way this is uh, a 28 pin uh, ic and it is available in dual in line package as well and as you can see it is pretty simple to use now uh, apart from this you know as with every ic we have a power pin here which is ecc then we also have ground and then the reference uh, could we will speak about reference in a little while so there are two uh, reference pin pins one is the positive reference and the other is the negative reference so plus reference and this is minus reference now uh, apart from this the ic needs i mean uh, we need to provide it a clock so this clock it defines or it determines the sampling frequency of the uh, of the ic and uh, it can take up to 1000 kilohertz but the uh, this is the maximum so the typical is 640 kilohertz and uh, what we do is there are two ways you can uh, provide sampling frequency or there could be uh, other ways as well one is to use a triple five timer and then use it in a stable mode and generate the clock frequency the other one would be uh, like say you're using a 8051 controller uh, you use ic such as 74 uh, ls 74 which is nothing but there are 4d flip-flops and uh, you know to convert about 11 to 12 megahertz to uh, and a thousand hertz you divide the frequency with the use of deep flip loss so uh, it can be done in two ways what we have done is we use a triple five timer now this is about the clock frequency let us speak a little more about the uh, voltages and the references now the combined reference so uh, if i call it as v reference it is the v reference this is positive reference minus the negative reference so so if i write it as vp this should be vp so this would be vp minus vn now uh, say for example uh, we connect this pin to ground if this is connected to ground uh, v i mean vn becomes zero so v reference will become uh, v positive so that would become 5 volts now what this means is what this means is uh, since this is 8 bit adc the step size of this would be 5 volts divided by 2 to the power 8 which is 5 volts divided by uh, 256 so this is the step size now what this gives us is say this would be around approximately around uh, you know 20 millivolts so what this gives us uh, this is the minimum voltage that we could read uh, from the input like say and signal is uh, is i mean any signal which is below 20 millo millivolts we would not be able to read and also uh, the next step for this would be 40 millivolts so what it means is um, each step or each uh, bit output is of 20 millivolts so we if we get 20 millivolts on the input we get a one bit change in the output so this is the step size for it now why this is important and where we could use the negative reference now whenever we have differential signals so uh, whose potential you know uh, is we do not don't just have input on one channel but if we have input on uh, two channels one is positive and one is 
negative which is differential and then if we give a differential reference then uh, the noise will be reduced and we will have a much uh, larger uh, signal so uh, we will we'll not be using that in this case so we will be using just the positive reference and we will be using 5 volts as the reference voltage now now say you have a temperature sensor for example and then uh, the maximum voltage that the temperature sensor uh, say uh, it can generate is 1 volt now the if the reference is 5 volts it would not make any uh, point because the maximum i mean what what you could lose here is 5 volts will have 256 steps right so the 1 volt which is maximum output voltage of the uh, temperature it would be 256 divided by 5 so so the maximum what you get is this so say approximately it is some 50 steps so what you get is uh, the temperature if it if it varies from 0 to 1 volts i mean if the output of the temperature varies from 0 to 1 volts uh, the output of the adc would go from 0 to 50 in decimal so what would be losing out is uh, the steps from 50 to 255 so all these steps you would be losing out so what is usually done is reference is I mean is chosen depending on what the maximum uh, voltage that you are getting at the input so say you have a maximum voltage of 1 volt uh, it is better to provide a reference of 1 volt so what that would may mean is if if we give reference as 1 volt then if we have 256 steps then the step size would be much smaller so that you can read more accurate values now this is just a rough discussion on it so this is about the reference now uh, as I said earlier this ABC with the lines ABC you could go ahead and select any of the uh, seven or eight channels so A is the LSB in this case so A B and C this would be this way so if we give it as 0 0 0 channel 0 is selected similarly 0 0 1 would select channel 1 and 1 1 1 would select channel 8 now uh, so and as said earlier the address latch enable so if you want to select a channel we need to give a low to high pulse after we give the values to the signal lines and uh, to start a conversion again we need to give a low to high pulse uh, to the SC pin and then the output enable it it goes from high to low whenever the conversion is complete whenever one conversion is complete this goes from high to low so we need to monitor this pin and when it goes low to high we should uh, you know generate a output enable pulse and then we need to read data out of the ADC so this is uh, the basics now what we go ahead and do is you know, we would interface all of these uh, say uh, trim pot now what this would do is we would read the raw values for it uh, if we go ahead and read raw values for it so whenever we uh, you know so the way we connect this is the one of the pins is connected to VCC and then the other pin is connected to ground and this goes to analog input now what happens is uh, since the VCC is 5 volts in this case uh, the as we you know rotate this trim pot the value of the ADC will vary from 0 to 255 so we just read uh, the raw values and this is uh, you know one of the common ways to test uh, ADC now in the next uh, thing what we do is again we uh, we connect this light dependent resistor and then we again uh, read raw values for it so you could go ahead and convert it to uh, appropriate units and this is again a similar example where we read the raw units of uh, mq6 sensor so this is an lpg sensor so we go ahead and read raw values you could go ahead and convert it uh, to appropriate unit like parts uh, particles per uh, cubic meter and all of that and also we will go ahead and read temperature and the conversion from uh, you know the raw value to temperature is pretty uh, 
uh, easy so we will go ahead and demonstrate that so let us go ahead and look at the uh, actual circuit diagram here now as said earlier so we will be using a triple five timer to generate the clock pulse so and this is in a stable mode and if you calculate uh, these values we will get a frequency of 312 kilohertz so the maximum we could go 640 kilohertz but we have confined it to 312 now uh, this goes into the clock uh, input and then uh, what you see here is uh, these labels these are connected to the microcontroller so the ADC 0 to ADC 7 is the data bus and uh, we have used only one of the channels so channel 1 is used and a uh, temperature sensor is connected to it so uh, again the temperature sensor it is similar to a potentiometer so one pin goes to VCC the other goes to ground and the central terminal goes to an analog channel and then uh, the negative reference is connected to ground and the positive reference is connected to 5 volts now uh, all these pins and the address I mean the channel selection pins and all the control pins these are connected to the microcontroller so uh, so this is connected to the address I mean the data input is connected to port 0 as you can see here and then all the other signals these are connected to port 2 now um, what we do is in all the sensors that we read we display the values on LCD and you should be familiar by now we uh, connect this LCD to port 1 in a 4 bit mode we have a reset switch as required and a crystal so uh, let us go ahead and look at the code now now as we do in all the tutorials instead of looking at the library files first for ADC specifically we will go ahead and look at the main code first here so uh, it is pretty simple there are two library files one for LCD one for ADC which are included here and then uh, and since we have uh, just 8 bit value uh, from the ADC we have defined an unsigned care uh, which holds 8 8 of these bits or a byte and what we do is uh, initialize the ADC uh, sorry initialize the LCD and initialize the ADC initializing the ADC uh, is nothing but configuring uh, the input and output ports of the microcontroller as required like say for instance like if we go back and look at the ADC we would uh, define all these pins as microcontroller because uh, this go the uh, ADC here and then uh, this would be output of the microcontroller uh, sorry this is connected temperature sensor so uh, the selection lines these would be output of the microcontroller then uh, the start and the ALE would also be output then this would be input from the microcontroller so uh, so because we read the end of conversion and uh, the OE as well so we'll go ahead and look at the code now so in ADC unit we just configure the inputs and outputs as required and then we go to uh, line 1 of the LCD we display a message saying which channel is being read then there are two functions here with respect to ADCs the first is the ADC init and the second is ADC in a start conversion and this function the ADC start conversion if you give the channel number it would convert uh, the uh, analog value on that particular channel and it would give a 8 bit result and that 8 bit result is displayed on line 2 of the LCD mm. this is very simple so let us go ahead and look at the actual ADC code now this is the header file of what we have uh, it has is uh, it has these two functions ADC init and ADC start conversion so ADC start conversion function it uh, takes the channel number as input so this is channel number this can be from 0 to 7 and what it gives is, is a 8 bit output so 8 bit result of the conversion now as discussed in the schematic the database is connected to port 0 and all the other lines all the control lines these are connected to port 2 
and these are defined as is bit uh, and uh, all of these you know so since 8051 provides uh, i mean you can uh, select individual bits all of these are defined as is bits now uh, so what we do is uh, we we have the first function which is adc in it and as stated earlier it just defines the uh, you know output and input for the uh, for the microcontroller pins now as you could uh, guess all the data lines are input because we read data from adc and then uh, this end of conversion is a signal generated by adc so uh, we take it as input and all the other pins start ale and oe these are configured as outputs so that is all that is done in the adc init function now the next function uh, is the adc start conversion and what we give as input is the channel number now this this channel number say for instance if it is uh, 0 1 0 the channel 2 or 1 1 1 which is channel 7 these needs to be given to uh, a0 i mean a b and c so these are defined as adc a0 a1 and a2 so you could call it as abc or you could call it as a0 a1 and a2 now what is done here is and this is shifted 0 is shifted 0 times because that's a bit we require then we and it with 1 to see if it is 1 or 0 similarly we shift uh, the a1 bit one time so that it gets here and then uh, we and and check whether it is 1 or 0 similarly we shift the a to two times to get the uh, to see if the bit is 1 or 0 so from this we get the exact channel number and then as discussed earlier so we send uh, first we need to latch this address so we send a uh, low to high pulse on ALE with this and then uh, so with this this completes a pulse and then um, before we do that we also start the conversion so we do adc start as one and we also send a pulse on it so we send a high to low pulse on it now we wait till the conversion is complete with this so while uh, end of conversion is zero because once it's uh, you know once it goes from 0 to 1 it indicates that the conversion is completed so we wait till it's 0 and then we make output enable as 1 and we send a pulse on output enable a high to low pulse on output enable so with that we the data is uh, available to be read and what we do is we read it uh, from the adc data bus which is defined as port 0 and then we store it in a variable adc result and what we do is we return this ADC result to the calling function. So if we go back now and look at the main code, so what it does is it put, then it converts uh, the analog value on that channel and returns the 8 bit result. So that's what is done. Now, uh, so what we have is uh, so for all the other sensors for the MQ6 or the LPG sensor, we read raw values and we uh, display. For the LDR, again we display raw values. For it, for the uh, for the trim pot, we read and display the raw values. Now let us look at the temperature sensor in little detail here. So what we are using is LM35. So this particular temperature sensor it gives a value of so, so the temperature uh, sensor is LM35 so it gives uh, a temperature of 1 degree centigrade I mean if the temperature is 1 degree centigrade it gives output of 10 millivolts what this means is uh, it basically has a resolution of 10 millivolts per degree centigrade now for our ADC right so the reference is 5 volts and we have 256 levels so the step size in this would be approximately 20 millivolts now what that means is like say we have 
uh, ADC value. So if we get, get a value of one from ADC, so it means uh, that the input voltage is 20 millivolts. And if the input voltage is 20 millivolts, so it means we have a temperature of two degree centigrade. So, so because 10 millivolts we use one degree centigrade, for 20 millivolts we have two degree centigrade. So what that means is one, uh, you know, one uh, value of one gives us two degree centigrade. So uh, whatever value we get, so the maximum that we could get is 255. So that means the tem actual temperature would be 255 into two. So that would be okay so that would be this would be 255 into 2 so this is 0 this is 1 and this is 5 so this would be 510 degrees centigrade so what we need to do is so whatever temperature we get as output like say whatever value we get as output say uh, for instance 13 so the actual temperature would be into 2 so that would be 3026 uh, now uh, as you know as we have discussed earlier about the reference so to get a better value here to get a better resolution say per degree centigrade what you could do is instead of a reference of 5 volts you could give a reference of 2.5 volts and if you divide that by 256 then you could get approximately 10 millivolts as the resolution then you could get 1 degree centigrade change per you know uh, so per 10 millivolts so and so you can get uh, the even I mean all the values so in this case since we have 5 volts reference whatever count we get we need to multiply it by 2 to get the actual temperature let us go ahead and look at that code now everything else remains same the temperature is uh, sensor is converted I mean connected to channel 1 of the ADC so we uh, start the conversion and we get the ADC result and what we do is we go to uh, the uh, LCD so on 10th position we display the ADC result so this result is a raw result so this is the raw value that we are getting from the ADC now this value it is multiplied by 2 say for instance if we get 13 uh, the actual temperature would be 26 so this is stored in the variable ADC temperature and that is displayed on the line 2. So this is uh, line I mean 1 position 10 this is line 1 position uh, 10. So before that what you have done is uh, this would be ADC value so the display that you will get on ADC would be ADC value and then the raw count which is uh, say 13 and then yeah, and the temperature as on the second line as 26 so uh, go ahead watch the demo and thank you for watching